So from Kieran Crew, um, Maps, how did it feel coming back to Watford after time away? Uh, felt great coming back. Uh, I still lived in the area, obviously still had friends at the club and obviously the, the club's still a big part of my life even when I was away. So coming back, you know, it felt like, felt like a real homecoming and obviously I was delighted. Abstation, who or what inspired you, your celebration? Uh, you know, my celebration, I, I have I have a lot of time at home for think and for uh, for visualize and all my my goals after in the games, and you know it's um, it's my celebration. Uh, I'm not I'm not copy anyone. Just I'm doing like that because you know when you score a, a goal, you feel that oh that's my that's my moment and and you know. Uh, I did, I did that, that celebration and now I continue uh, doing. Gwe.exe, what's your advice for younger people trying to go pro? Um, my advice to younger players trying to go pro is to make sure you, first of all, enjoy it. Enjoy football, play with a smile on your face. And um, yeah, work hard, stay focused. Um, make sure you're always hungry and always keep the determination and chase your dream. Capoe WFC, what would you be doing job wise if you weren't a footballer? It's, it's impossible to say this because um, since four years old um, I want to be a footballer. I, all the balls at home, uh, going to the pitch, and I never think in, in other things than, than just be a footballer. I start my, my career really, really uh, earlier in, in Barcelona. And, you know, at the moment, uh, you know, never uh, I think any job uh, after, the, after football, so. From George Parker to Mariapa, when you was growing up in Harrow, how did your football interest begin? And what was it like for you getting into the Watford Youth Academy? So, in Harrow I played for a couple of local sides. One was St. Joseph's, which is in Belmont Circle. The other one was Parkfield. Uh, I got scouted for Watford when I was playing for St. Joseph's. And I remember being very nervous, obviously nine years old. Um, and yeah, just I'm really excited, obviously. So it was a big, big moment for me. And, I got scouted with a few other boys I was playing with as well, and I knew a lot of the guys who uh, were playing for Watford at the time from you know, various uh, teams around the area. So it was a big moment for me. And um, sorry, this has just gone off. <laughs> so that's, a, that's, that's a sign I'm waffling, I think. John Woodgram. Um, Stormzy or Wiley? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to just say Stormzy because. Um, He's, he's closer to where I grew up and, um, and I like his punchlines, I like his music. What for FC uh, dot talk? Who is the best dancer in the squad? <laughs> uh, I never go uh, to a lot of parties with them, but uh, I like how Tuku dance sometimes, uh, reggaeton. Uh, but there is there is a lot of dancers in the in the team, a uh, lot of music every day. We put music in the physio in the gym, and there is a lot of dancers. But uh, my friends uh, Tuku and this one sometimes Adam Masina uh, dance dance uh, really good. <laughs> From Azza two underscore six maps. You remember your best tackle? If so, which is it? Um, Best tackle, um, Swansea away, um, stopped Tammy Abraham, um, I think he was like in the six yard box and we went on to win the game so obviously when you make a, uh, a tackle that's, you know, affects the, the result of the game, um, obviously it feels good you know that you're, you're affecting, you know, the game in a positive way for the team. Next question is from Nizzy, do you still dream about that wonder strike against Leicester? <laughs> I know I do. Um, I don't dream about it, but I do remember it, of course. Um, um, 
I mean, I tried to put myself in that situation and replicate it again. Um, that's the target, really, because I was told after that you'd never score a goal like that again. So I find that as a challenge and I'd like to, to try and do something like that again, hopefully. Aquí dijo Franco Guarino 7, eh, para Gerard de Luceu. ¿Te gustaría jugar la Copa Libertadores? Pues mira, um, tuve un compañero que fue Funes Mori en Everton y me habló muy bien. Creo que él metió un gol contra, contra Boca y, y se ve que fue una locura. Tuku también me habla de, de Argentina, de, de, de la Liga, de la Copa Libertadores y... No lo descarto, no lo descarto, está muy lejos y dicen que es increíble. Lo veo lejos, pero no lo descarto, por supuesto. Es, es, se, como se vive en, en Argentina, es, es increíble. Charlie underscore fat one. Interesting name. Uh, who's the funniest guy on the team? <sighs> oh, that's a tough one. So it's a hard question. Um, we've got a few, we've got a few, but I'd say, surprisingly, you're going to be shocked by this, but for me right now, Ismail Asar is probably one of the funniest guys in the team. From WFC Bible, Maps, have you always played in defence? I haven't. I was a attacking midfielder as a kid. Obviously loved scoring goals like everyone did. My favourite player was Eric Cantona. Um, so I used to have uh, my collar up, etc. And uh, obviously try and imitate him. And, uh, but I was quite big for my age, so I think Watford just put me in <laughs> defence from then and funny enough, I didn't actually grow, so... <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so you know, I liked attacking when I was a kid. TK.076 What makes Pearson different from the coaches you have had before? Um, it's a tough question. I, I think with the new gaffer is more is more the communication um, side of things. Uh, he's brought a positive mentality to the group. I'm not saying that the other managers didn't, but I think we're all working, working as a group um, very solidly at the minute. Um, um, yeah, it's just he's, he's communicating with, with us, he's communicating with me, um, and my job out there is clear, really, so. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably have to say that. And he just, he drives the best out of every single player in the team. And one of his favourite quotes are, you're in the team for what you can do, for what you're good at. So we've just been, been living by that really. Hey you, click here for more videos.